Okay, we're back out of this again. So just to close out the year and everything, starting a new year in 2022. And yeah, I just want to take you a little back, uh, just a little introspection of 2021 for my software engineering journey. And if you guys are new to this channel, my name is Ronald. I'm a software engineer where I talk about different things uh, as far as coding, entrepreneurship, and also a lifestyle of, of a software engineer. And you know, also give tips and tricks here and there. We're back at it again. I wanna make sure I do this like every single year. Just like a uh, look back of like all the things I do. And I kinda wanna like put more introspection into it. So like go over these different things on how they made me feel and yeah just have a little reflection of that you can definitely expect this like every single year so look forward to seeing this every single year on this channel so i think it's really important to reflect and also to reflect exactly on how you feel about different things and see if you're moving in the right direction some of the things i would like to reflect on is achievements this past year so i had a lot of progress in 2021 i did a lot of things especially for my career as a software engineer. And you know, some things I missed the mark on. Just a couple of achievements this past year in 2021. I got roughly a 46% increase in my salary. So that's one thing for switching another job. Once again, kind of a bittersweet moment for me because I was really enjoying the work that I was doing at my previous job. And also, you know, I had a lot of people that I uh, connected really well over there. Um, but ultimately, uh, I'll probably do another video in, in regards to that yeah it was no fear making that switch over especially during this time during this great resignation like to call it and there was really no fear in regards to the lack of opportunities out there because it was very abundant and i was able to do what i needed to do to actually have options in regards to different offers so I think that was just one of the benefits and that's one of the things I wasn't too fearful of making that change. And it was just plus plus a bonus because I'm trying to make, you know, things happen in regards to retirement. A 46 increase in my salary was very significant and allows me to save a little bit more and also invest a little bit more in my investment portfolio and also any investment opportunities that I want to go into as far as business. Extra money that I can do with that and all that money is just going to be working for me more or less. <laughs> so the next thing I was able to attain certifications. So I had roughly three certifications in this last three months I, I was able to get and these were in Salesforce. If you guys don't already know, I already, I'm a software engineer doing Salesforce type stuff. I just like the fact that I was able to expand my knowledge and also continue to learn and grow. That was just really important to me and also I feel very much more confident in the area after getting these certifications. Just one more because I have a lot of achievements in this year but this one I was really super proud of was I was able to spend more time with my family. So I actually was pretty active in finding events for us to explore the city and be able to spend more family time. I think that was just really helpful for me because it actually gave me a breath of fresh air outside of software and be able to, you know, interact and socialize and connect with my family more on a deeper level. Yeah, I think that was just really important to me that I wanted to do within this year was be able to spend more time with my family. And yeah, I think I definitely hit that mark. And I definitely want to continue to hit that mark every single year because I think that's just so important. You know, be able to take a step out of software and not continue to burn yourself out and just study and also reading and all this stuff about software. Um, there's so many things outside of software, there's so much beauty um, that I want to continue to expand upon that and you know, find those connections. So a couple of marks that I missed on this year is I didn't get to finish my email service app. And this email service app actually transformed to something completely different. And I would say I'm okay with that because the, mat the matter of fact that I completely changed from the email service app to something completely different like a platform that I can see scale up for multiple users to come and use this product. And I just wanted to be good enough to serve that purpose. What I'm trying to achieve now is be able to continue to do that and finish that out and try to get that MVP out as soon as possible. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to do in 2022. 
So another mark that I missed on, which I didn't really talk about this year, was I was trying to create a course. I was kind of disappointed with that, but at the same time, I, you know, I'm okay with it. No matter of the fact that a lot of things changed in this year, I was able to get a house for my family. I also had a kid this year as well, and you know, a whole bunch of other stuff that came up where I just occupied my time. So it was very overwhelming during that time, and I think that's just okay to sit back and take a break sometimes. And I feel like I did achieve a lot of things this year. I think it's okay to take a break and not overdo it sometimes. I have plenty of time to do what I need to do, and I'm just gonna be taking it little by little, and you know, laying down that brick until I get that final wall that I'm trying to get to. The last mark I feel like I missed on was I wasn't really working out like I wanted to. I wanted to go on more hikes and stuff, walks and everything. Um, I did go on some walks this year, so I wanna say too much. I did get a workout when I was moving like from place to place this year as well, when we were moving to the house. Did some work out there, but you know, consistently working out throughout the year, I think it's just gonna be better for my health in general. Because you know, as a software engineer, you do sit at the desk, you do sit at the table, and you know, all that stuff can be straining for your body over time. And I think it's very important to you know do some movement and get the blood pumping. So I think that's what I'm gonna be trying to do this year as well. Is you know, focus on health and be able to look at that as a necessity of what I need to do for, for myself. Because if my health is not good, then I'm not able to take care of anyone else. And I wanna give a great shout out to my wife because she did buy me a Fitbit that I feel I've used on a daily basis. And I think, um, yeah, it's gonna, very, it's gonna help me a lot because I am um, very keen to when I am working out, looking at my heart rate and seeing if I'm hitting those particular levels. So yeah, Fitbit is gonna help me out a lot. And yeah, the last part of this video is loss. So yeah, as of recently, I lost my dog. Um, my dog passed away. She wasn't just a dog to me. She, she was a friend. She was a partner in this journey I call life. And I would say it was like one of the things that I'm very close to like the animals that, you know, I do bring into my life. And sometimes, you know, people just fall in your life. And I would say literally she fell in my lap um, when I was at my mom's house. And yeah, those are just some of the beautiful moments of when people just come into your life and they just shape and change you as a person. So originally the dog was my sister dog. But, I mean, during that time when we were hanging out and doing stuff, we just came so intertwined with our lives. Like, it just became just inseparable for us. So over time, she just became mine. And I took care of her. She took care of me. She was there at the very beginning of this journey. And, yeah, I really appreciate her so much because she was always in the background of everything I was doing. When, when I first got married, when I got my first house, when I got my first kid, like she was there for it all. There's more I wanted her to be here for and it's hard to let her go, but I know I, know I couldn't hold on to her anymore in this physical world. There will be a tomorrow where I will see her again. And I just wanna say much love and peace to her. Yeah, that's what I've been up to in this past year and that's what I've been up to recently. As of you know the future, I would say I'm definitely going to be more actionable about the content that I'm going to be doing. Rather than talking about it, I'm just going to do it. And yeah, not, not like the perfectionist hit me as much as um, it's been hitting me lately. Well, yeah, I'm going to be hitting that hard this year. Also, you know, thank you again for the subscriptions to this channel. Uh, one of the goals I also wanted to have before the end of 2021 was to have 500 subscribers. I hit 4.99 on December 31st, and I'm really grateful for all of that. We um, just need one more subscriber, so you know, share this video with all your friends, and just know all the content that I put out here is only going to be helpful and 
only to you know continue to bring wisdom and knowledge to all the people who continue to try to go to, down this journey. So you know, until next time, peace.